Hello, welcome to Landlording TV, teaching you how to organize and run a profitable rental empire. I am your host, Justin Palma. Today we are in the trenches and we are doing a furnace repair. We're replacing the furnace control board. Now this sounds like a pretty advanced repair, but it's actually pretty simple and straightforward. So, here is the scene of the crime. That is our old control board. Now, there's our new one. Okay, so now show, let's turn it on so you can see what was actually happening and how we, why we knew we had to replace this. So I'm gonna turn our thing on here. We're gonna hit our safety switch for the panel. Do it again, I missed it. So it's just sparking. So, and it won't, it won't let it turn on. So now if we take it off and you look behind it, you're gonna see that our solder is actually completely melted together and it's just shorting out the board, causing sparks. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here's the difference. So you can kind of see there, the solder looks a little clunky and especially that piece there. Look over here, nice and shiny, everything straight, and that's so it's a new one we're gonna install. Blobby. So, how much was this board? Eighty-seven dollars. Eighty-seven dollars. Now, if you were to have somebody come and replace it, oh boy. Well, he told me the the retail price was around one hundred and forty. Wow. If you uh, retail price, but uh, a tradesman going in there gets a discount, so it was about eighty-seven dollars. How do you get that discount? Well, they have to know you in the supply store. So you gotta get to know your local supply store people. Uh, okay, so we showed you where we're shorting out. Yeah. Now we're gonna, now it's on again. We disconnected the low voltage wiring harness mm -hmm. from the control board. We push in our safety switch and you'll notice that the furnace will run. Sure is. The fan comes right on. Yeah. But the minute I let go of the switch, it goes off naturally because you need the cover, safety feature. But the minute I let go and plug in the the low voltage, it'll short out because of the supply board being old and uh, the soldering joints were all disintegrated all right. actually. Okay. So let's see what it takes to do this. All right, so so we just unbolted this box from the furnace. That was simple. Now we do we want to keep the same wiring pattern. So we'll use this. And we'll do these wires one at a time so that we they go in the same sequence as on our board. Okay. Here's the first one. And this is a generic board. This isn't anything special, right? Right. Well, it's 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 special for a carrier furnace. Right. They looked it up at the at the parts store. Carrier is the brand of this furnace. But they had it right in stock. We had it right in stock, right? Okay. okay, there's two of those. So far, so good. Low and high. So you see low and high over here? Low and yeah. high? Okay, here's the low. First we're gonna take off the low. Wait, hang on, where do you see low? Okay, I got it, I see it. Right there? Yeah. Low and high. And the same thing is written over here. It's a little different pattern. Yeah. But they say the same thing, low and high. That's the low. Okay. Right on there. There's the high. Okay. Low and high. Now we have the power source. L. 
L2. L2. Like bingo. L2. L means line, by the way. Okay. Line one and line two. There we go. Okay. That is PR1. Let me see, where are you getting these numbers from? Okay, I see that. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, PR1. And there should be a PR1 here. Yeah, see it right there? PR1, PR1 right on top. PR1. Okay. So here we go. So this looks pretty. They set it up so it's not too hard. You just gotta match the, match the letters. And it's bingo. important is one at a time so yes. you don't get them all confused. Right. Good tip. Now, these are the power sources right here. Okay. So that was number two? That was line one. Line one. Line one right here. Line one. See line one? Got it. Plug her in. There we go. And these things you just slide right on? Yeah, just slide, slide right on nice. And they lock in place. Okay. All right, we got two more to go. Two more. PR2 and the common. There's the common. I need a persuasion here. There's the common. 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 Got it. And PR2. PR2, the last guy. Last one. PR2. PR2, and the old guy's gone. PR1. PR2, there PR2. it is. Sure enough. There it is. place. Make sure you have the power cut before you do this, right? Oh yeah, shut her out. <laughs> <laughs> shut her out. There's actually no power going through the board, that was that was a joke. Okay, now our thermostat wires. No power yet. There's a red and a white. Okay. See here, R and W. Okay, got it. Yeah, okay. red and white. So the white goes to the white. Terminal. Red. This looks like a scene from the Hurt Locker. <laughs> Alright, I might need some help on this. Okay. So. Be right back. Yeah. We're back. So all we did was we lined up these these pins to fit it in properly through the um, hole and now we're screwing in the box back to the furnace that held our power supply. Alright, so we got it screwed in. Now we're going to try, yeah, we're going to turn on our switch. Safety switch on. Uh -huh. Well, there's no more sparks. She's happy. What would have been a probably five to seven hundred dollar job cost us eighty-seven dollars and took about ten minutes. Yeah. So that is pretty substantial savings. You saw how easy it was. If you can play bingo, you can handle changing this board. And how we tested it, how we knew that was the problem was when we unplugged those wires. 
right here, the furnace would stay on. So the second the thermostat was trying to control it, it was sparking and shutting off. So that's how you test that it's power related and not something else. And that is how you replace the furnace's control board. Do you have anything to add, bud? Uh, no, now all we gotta do is put back the covers. They're Perfect. safety features and we should be in business. And we did it. And that's it. So five to six hundred dollars saved. Hope you can do the same.